What if you didn't have to install all of your favorite extensions one at a time? Well, you don't have to with an extension pack. And I thought now would be the perfect time for me to make one and include it in my VS Code Superhero course. Now, this isn't going to be exclusive to my course, but it is actually available right now on the VS Code Marketplace. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of creating an extension pack in VS Code so that if you ever wanted to create your own, you'll know exactly how to do it. And really quick before we get into it, this video is sponsored by me. I want to give you a quick sneak peek at my new VS Code Superhero course trailer. The course will launch September 22nd and will be available as an ebook, a video course, or a bundle of both. Sign up for my newsletter for exclusive coupons and updates, and check out vscodehero.com for more details. First, you'll need to make sure that you have Node.js installed, and then we'll go to the terminal and we need to install Yeoman and Generator Code. So we'll do npm i global yo and generator code. This installs Yeoman and VS Code extension generator globally. I've already done that, so I'm not going to run it again. Now we'll run Yo code. And let me just move this up a bit. So here's our Visual Studio Code extension generator. And now we just need to answer a few questions. So what type of extension are we creating? We're going to select extension pack and now it's going to ask if we want to add currently installed extensions to the extension pack so this makes it super simple if you already have these extensions installed we'll select yes and then what's the name of our extension i'm going to name this test pack we'll hit enter to accept that we can enter an optional description here and that's it so now we have our test pack i'll close the terminal and now let's take a look at our files the main file that we'll look at is the package JSON. This is going to contain the name of our extension pack, the display name of the extension pack. We can add a description, version. Under engines, we have our minimal VS Code version that's required for this extension. Categories is going to be extension pack. And then here is the list of all of our extensions that we want to include in this pack. So if there's an extension that we want to add and it's not here, we can easily find that. We'll go to the extensions. And let's look, for instance, at my theme here. So what you'll add to the package JSON is this right here. So codestacker.codestacker-theme. If we go back into our package JSON, you'll see that that is already in here, codestacker.codestacker-theme. So you can get that from any extension and then add it in here. And that's it. We will need to add our publisher name. So that's going to be publisher. So I'll just put code stacker in here. And the other file that you'll want to modify is the readme.md. So this is going to contain the description for your extension pack. Maybe list all of the extensions that's included and give a brief description of why you created the extension pack. And that's going to show up on the VS Code marketplace. And we do have to at least make a, an edit to this. So let's just change this to test pack. And then of course, you're gonna to wanna to add some more descriptions here. But for now, we'll just leave this. So now to package this, we'll go back to the terminal. 
you will need to install VSCE, Visual Studio Code Extensions. So that's going to be NPM I, and we're going to do this globally, VSCE. I've already done this, so I'm not going to run it again. Now to package it, we need to make sure that we're in the proper directory. Right now I'm in the code directory, and our extension pack is under test-pack. So we need to CD into test pack, and then we can run VSCE package. Now it's indicating that a repository field is missing. So if you want to link this to a GitHub repository, you would also want to add that to your package JSON, but it's not required. So we can just say yes, and now it's packaged. You'll notice this new test pack file here, this VSIX file. So this is the extension. And we can now install this test pack locally, or we could send it to someone else and they can install it, but it's not yet on the VS Code Marketplace. So to do that locally, you would run code dash dash install dash extension, and then the name of the file. So for this instance, it's test dash pack dash 0.0.1.vsix. So I'm not going to run this, I already have all of these extensions installed, but this is what you would run to install it locally. Now VS Code uses Azure for its marketplace, so you're going to need a personal access token in order to publish this to the marketplace. Now I'm not going to go through all of the steps to get a personal access token in this video, but I will leave a link to this documentation in the description below. Basically you need to sign up for a Azure DevOps organization and just follow these steps and you'll get a personal access token. Once you have your personal access token, it's as easy as VSCE and then publish. After that, it just takes a few minutes and then it will show up on the VS Code Marketplace. And here's what mine looks like. It includes my code stacker theme, VS Code icons, auto rename tag, bracket pair colorizer, prettier, live server, better comments, Git lens, EmojiSense, and React snippets, just to name a few. This is also on GitHub, so if you come across any issues or you have suggestions for additional extensions to add, just clone it and make a pull request. And that's going to be it for this video. Like this video to help me out, and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.